Hey everybody, this is Kevin, and I just wanted to do a quick update video for you. Um, just a little topic I wanted to discuss, and I want to—I really want your feedback on this because this is something that I've been running into uh, recently, and that's the difference between the Pledge Revive It Floor Gloss and this new product that I found at Lowe's called Quick Shine Multi-Surface Floor Finish. And I'm going to show you the different results that I've been getting from each of these products. And uh, the differences are quite as as astounding. So I'm curious if you're starting to notice the same uh, results as I am. Or if not, then please let me know what maybe you're doing differently. But uh, first and foremost, I just want to reassure you that you're not seeing double. You are seeing two different retro wizards on the desk here now. Recently, I did a build video on this wizard. So if you remember me building this one, that's that's the one right there. This one, I just finished building. And I didn't I didn't do a video for this. This is just kind of a, a one-off that I wanted to do. But it's the exact same rocket. However, this one is made to fly. And by that, I mean I've installed an engine hook. And, well, that's basically the only difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I also installed the motor, the uh, shock cord, the the new way by using Kevlar mounted to the motor mount, not glued onto a trifle like um, you know the the typical kit calls for. Uh, homemade decals, uh, but one difference I really had I struggled with initially was right around the engine hook area. In order to smooth things out and kind of blend things in, I when I did my fillets with the uh, rock epoxy, I also ran some epoxy around the engine hook in this area just to kind of blend it into the body tube a little nicer. But what that resulted in was this bulge right here, you see, and it happened to be right where the band, the decal wraps around. And I was like, hmm. The decal's not going to lay flat, and it didn't. Um, but I will tell you, in fact, let me grab this bottle right here. I just started using this stuff, but if you guys have never used or seen Microsol, this stuff is, it does wonders. Simply apply it to the decal after it's laid down, and it will, for all intents and purposes, kind of shrink the decal to the surface. Uh, the first thing it does is it really softens the material, it makes it more elastic and conform to uh, the bottom surface. And I, I went over it with a Q-tip, kind of brushed it on, let it soak in, soften up, and then I gently kind of rubbed it down with the, the Q-tip some more. And I think I did a total of three applications of it. And it's not perfect. In fact, one of my stars kind of got uh, disformed, <laughs> disconfigured a little bit. Uh, but it, it is rather smooth, even though you can kind of see a crinkle. Um, it's a technique that I need to work more on. I'm not sure how to eliminate it completely, but there's a way to do it. And I just haven't figured it out yet. But practice makes perfect. That's my first time actually using it. But uh, this, again, rocket was not built on camera. So I just wanted to show it to you that it, it does exist. And I will be out flying this very soon. And when you do, I don't want you to think, wow, he's flying his pristine one. Nope, that one's staying on the shelf it's a shelf queen uh but yeah this is the the newest rocket in my fleet now the one thing i wanted to, to discuss with you regarding these two bottles here i have read and seen videos and heard nothing but great things about future now future is the predecessor to this they say it's the same product in fact this this product by sc johnson has been labeled as with many different titles and the most recent version of it is this floor gloss and i ended up ordering this online i, I cannot find it in stores it's i don't even know if they still make it to be honest with you it's clear it's clean and i like it for the most part however on certain instances and i'm going to bring out some examples here i'm going to show you what it's done to my rockets. And this is just a small sampling. I've got some worse cases that are um, on the shelf. But for comparison purposes with what I'm about to show you, I just did my most recent wizard here with this quick shine floor finish. And 
I'm trying to get the, the light to hit it just right, but it's smooth. I mean, it's clear. It's, it creates a nice finish. Same on the fins. Now the fins are a little discolored. I had a little bit of, I had a little bit of crackling, you know, that, that, that crazing or whatever they call it, crinkling with the paint. Uh, I think I painted it too early in the morning and it was, it was really cold out. So that, use your error on that one, but that's okay. This is going to be my flyer anyway. But I went with this one to avoid what I'm about to show you because the last few rockets that I've done with the Pledge, I've gotten some iffy results. And let me show you. This is the most recent Yankee that I built. And after the paint dried and everything, and I applied the Future, if you look closely, do you see the crackling in there? It, it almost looks like dinosaur scales. I, I don't know what else to call it, but it cracked on a microscopic level. Um, yeah, there's a good view of it too. Now, given the right light conditions, like right there, it looks perfect. But if you get the light to bang, you know, bounce off it just right, you can see that the cracking. Um, let me get this one again. Yeah, and it wasn't like that until I put the pledge on it. Now, is it possible that I was applying it too soon? before the paint fully cured, possibly. But some of these kits that I'm, well, a couple of these projects I'm about to show you, I, I waited three days before I applied it. And it doesn't work on all the colors. It just seems like so, certain colors it crackles, some t colors it doesn't. My most recent uh, large scale build, if you remember my RAV1, which I've been doing my RPM testing with, came out beautiful until you get up close. And if you look closely, you see those dinosaurs scales again. Very, very strange. It didn't do it to the decal, but it did it to the gray layer underneath. And again, from five feet away, you can't see any of this, but, but it is concerning to me as to why this formula of the pledge is doing that to the, uh, the paint. Now, on a different level, this is a rocket I built a couple years ago, you guys remember my VK, uh, VK-1 from Rocketarium? It's my twin cluster motor rocket. Now, look at the white. Not too bad. But look at the black. Look how large those scales are. I mean, and you flip it over. The white there is fine. But the black, it's got those, like, like fissures in it. I, I, I just can't explain it. So, obviously, if you're getting results like that, you're going to be afraid to use the stuff. Now, the white here, I don't see it. I'm not getting in any of that on the white. Um, but definitely the darker colors, specifically that black, just does not like the future. So, I again, with this one, I said, well, I'm going to try this stuff. Now, this stuff is still available. I can find this at Lowe's and probably other, you know, home department stores would have it. Uh, it's, if I remember right, it was cheaper than the Pledge. Uh, it goes on. It's a little different mixture. This is clear, obviously. You can see it. This goes on. It looks like a more of a milky color. Not pure white, but kind of a, a hazy, cloudy clear. Um, but it dries clear, which is obviously a good thing. But I am, I'm not getting any um, crackles or those, you know, those cracks in it. Uh, what you're seeing in the paint on the fin is that was user error from the initial paint job underneath. But I'm not getting any negative effects of the, uh, the finish. Um, for those of you who received this last Christmas uh, a Viking rocket kit from me, uh, look at your fins and let me know if you're getting the same crackle. I bet you are because... I saw them before they shipped out. So if you look at the uh, the fins, you'll know it's because I painted it or clear coated it with the pledge. So I'm really curious to know what kind of results you all are seeing. Um, is it possible that I'm just applying this too soon to uncured paint? Is that what's causing it? Possibly so. Um, again, in, in some of these, like the, the RAV1, I waited three days before I clear coated it. The Yankee. I know I waited three days for this one too, and it still 
they're smaller, but you can see those little cracks there. So again, I'm just kind of confused as to why it's happening. Maybe the formulas change because I've talked to people who who paint you know this like a day or two right after their their clear their color coats with the old stuff, the old future, and they're not getting any of this. Like Don, for example, over at Retro Rockets swears by future, and I and I believe him. Um, the old stuff, but this new stuff, I don't know. I'm just not 100% sold on it. But so far, I'm pretty pleased with the Quick Shine. So. Again, if you've got any experiences with any of these products, please let me know in the comments what kind of results you're getting. Um, but again, just want to give you an update video. I have just completed this new wizard. Anxious to fly this one. Uh, no baffle. That's another thing I wanted to point out. With this most recent Yankee build, I put a baffle. Let's see. The motor sits about here to here, so I've got a baffle right in this area here, which only gives me about two inches, two and a half inches to, well, less than that because the shoulder of the nose cone comes down. So about two inches for a parachute. And to do that, you gotta go with a small chute and wrap it tight. And what happens when you wrap plastic chutes really tight? They tend to stay that way. So um, I'm not a big proponent now of baffles in shorter rockets. And the taller ones, like my mini mean machine, by all means, you got plenty of tube to work with. Uh, so that being said, on the new Wizard, I did not install a baffle, which means motors from here to here, I'm going to have to put in some wadding, or in, in my case, I usually use the dog barf material, and then that gives me more room for the, the parachute. So I should have uh, less, if not no issues whatsoever on deployment. So anyway, there's a quick update on what I've been doing lately here on the bench. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please leave some comments, feedback. Let me know what you all think about these products. All right, thanks, everybody. God bless. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.